will have a transition system containing null moves means nfa will be given to us null moves so there are some certain basic four steps to convert it uh, that we will be discussing in today's video so hopefully uh, you are seeing my screen and we have a transition system containing null moves so uh, guys there are four basic steps uh, that basically lead up to this particular part so we have this particular question which is given to us uh, we have two null moves there, there is a null move from q0 to q1 and there is a null move from q1 to q2 so guys we just need to follow four basic steps four basic steps and then your conversion is done now uh, wherever null move is we will be treating them as vertices like i can treat this as v1 i can treat this as v2 and i can treat this as v3 so there is a null move from v1 a null and v2 and there is a null move from v2 to v3 so how this whole process is done so four steps are four steps very very important steps is that uh, if there is a null move from vertex v1 to v2 firstly what we will do we will uh, remove the null move from any kind of uh, edge from even v1 to v2 we have to deal one at a time right second after removing the null copy what v2 is doing means outgoing transitions of v2 means guys the task of what v2 is doing if i see this v2 v2 is q1 so what q1 is doing means uh, q1 actually what is the task of q1 q1 when it is given one it means i am going with outgoing transitions from q1 when it is given one it goes to itself and q1 when it is given a null it goes to q2 so this task is copied to uh, your v2 uh, uh, your copy what v2 is doing actually you have to copy it to v1 so it means whatever v2 is doing so it means uh, your v2 was doing was one thing with q1 when it was given one it was going to q1 q1 when it was given null it was going to q2 so it means the same thing that you will copy but to q0 so q0 will basically perform the same task i am repeating the steps uh, also after that after that i'll just do it no no issues in that uh, we have got uh, uh if uh, v2 if uh, v1 is initial state which actually it is make v2 initial this is a uh, first part that if v1 is initial state that we will make v2 initial and last not the least if v1 is final state if actually if v2 is final state make v1 final so these are four steps that we have to basically abide if we will do it by default our conversion will be done so i am uh, solving the same things again i am repeating the first part is that we have to remove the null move we will remove that copy what v2 is doing so whatever outgoing transitions of q1 will be copied to q0 if i will say that if v1 is uh, initial state if q0 is initial we will make q1 initial if q1 is final state we will make uh, q0 initial uh, q0 final so if again i would uh, repeat this thing but uh, let's just take that particular example over here q0 it is given zero there is a null move between them we have got q1 it is given one there is also a null move between them with q2 it is given two so guys there are three input symbols what is my first step first step is what is my first step remove i am taking this as v1 and i am taking this as v2 
I'm taking this as V1 and taking this as V2. So remove null move means I will be removing the null move over here. This is my very first step. Second, second step is copy what V2 is doing to V1 means what V2 is doing. Guys, just see Q1 when it is given one, it goes to Q1 and Q1 when it is given a null, it goes to Q2. It means the same thing. You will copy it to Q0. Okay, so it means your Q0 when it is given one, it will go to Q1 and Q0 when it is given a null, it goes to Q2. So I have to abide this. So Q0 when it is given one, it goes to Q1 and Q0 when it is given null, it goes to Q2. So there is another null move that we have to encounter, right? The third step, third step is if uh, V1 is initial, make V2 also initial. So guys, this Q, uh, V1 is actually initial. So we will make this V2 also initial. Fourth, not the important, uh, this very important part. If V2 is final, make v1 also fine means uh, v2 yes v2 if we have to check v2 is final no it is not final so we will not make v1 fine so after your first entire transitions you will have this answer with we have one null move removed unfortunately another null move is introduced but again a null move is definitely removed Fine. And there is a null move of null over here. So guys, we have to basically perform the same task with this null move because there is there are two null moves remaining. Q1 with the null move with Q2 and Q0, unfortunately, which was introduced in very first step with Q2. So I'll solve this first. Right. So again, what we have to do. Uh, firstly, we have to remove the null move between them. So we'll be removing the null move. Yes, null move is removed. I'll treat this as V1 and this as V2. So copy what V2 is doing to V1. So what is V2 doing? Q2 is uh, given to, it goes to Q2. That is the only task it is doing. There is no other task it is being doing. So I will just copy the same to Q1. So Q1 when it is given, it means Q1 when it is given to, it goes to Q2. So that I have written. Now, actually, this was made initial state uh, from the very first step. If uh, if Q1 is initial, Q2 becomes initial. Yes, it is initial. This also becomes initial. If Q2 is final, then Q1 becomes final. Yes, it was final. So this was also becoming final. So yes, we are left with only one null transition. So we have this part, Q0. We have this, this 0. We have this 1. We have this Q1. This is initial now. This is Q2. Fine. And there is this null move. So guys, this is treated as V1 and this is treated as V2. So what is the first step? Remove null transition. So we are moving the null transitions from Q0 to Q2. Second step is, uh, second step is cop copy what V2 is doing to V1. So what is V2 doing? V2 is doing only one task. Q2, when it is given to, it goes to Q2. The so same thing I will copy to Q0. So Q0 will, when it is given to, it goes to Q2. So it means 
this task is added so what is the third if uh, q not is initial make q to initial actually this was made initial in the very first uh, in the second step so the fourth step is if q2 is final make q not final so yes q2 was final so we have made this q not final so eventually after removing all the null moves we got q not given 0 it goes to itself given 1 it goes to q q1 and yes this is the entire scenario now we have three initial states again guys i would term this as nfay because it has three initial states and we don't know which where we have to go about that but at least a task of removing null move is done so in this process we made three initial states but again that nfa you can always change it to dfa fine so that's about uh, this in, in this particular lecture so thank you for watching uh, keep supporting